Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jenna and for those of you that don't know, I am a kinesiologist from Vancouver, BC. I have been contemplating doing YouTube for a very, very long time and I just thought about how I was going to start this workout and this video and I just wanted to let you guys know that if you have been contemplating fitness and this is the start for you, um, just know you're not alone because it takes a lot of thinking to get started and if you're someone who has been working out for a long time, this is also going to be super effective for you. Um, we're going through a core series today um, with a little bit of arms and I just want you to follow along. I want you to just have a good time. It's going to take maybe 10 minutes of your day and I guarantee you'll feel better when you're done. Um, I will invite you to come up to standing when you're ready. We're going to take a deep breath and go through a few exercises just to warm up. So coming into a back bend, folding forward, taking a deep breath, noticing any tension on the back of your body. And if you feel like your legs need a little stretch, you can pedal it out. Coming all the way out into a plank position. Find a small little bit of softness in your elbows. Don't lock them out. Coming all the way back up to standing at your own leisure, taking it into a back bend. One deep breath and then folding back forward. We're going to go two more sets. Okay, so coming back out into that plank, finding those core muscles and that little bit of softness in your elbows. Coming all the way back up to standing creek. Taking it into your back bend and coming forward one more time. I find this exercise is so effective for just kind of setting the tone for the core, coming all the way back up for our last rep and we're taking it into that last back bend. Okay, coming down onto the mat, we're starting on a four, starting in a forearm plank. Um, so those of you that feel comfortable on your knees, I'll get you there. So bum isn't up in the air, it's just down nice and neutral, head is lined up. I like to pick a point that I'm looking at in front of me, and then my elbows are directly under the shoulders. Those of you that feel more comfortable on your toes, let's pop up and we're going to hold for a count of 20. So starting right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Perfect. Feeling that core heat up a little bit, let's come back into a quick child's pose before resetting it for our second set. This time, if you felt comfortable on your knees, you're coming into one more set there, holding it as long as it takes everybody else to do this. So we're coming up for 10 reps, it's going to be a hip raise up to the ceiling and then back down to neutral, okay? So everybody get ready, on your mark, get set, and popping it up, raising those hips up, bringing them back to neutral. Raising those hips up and bringing them back to neutral. Raising them up, bringing them back to neutral. That's three, we're going all the way to 10, four, Five, deep breaths, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is our last rep, and breathe. Perfect. Giving your shoulders a quick little relax. If you need that child's pose, pop back into it. Otherwise, take a deep breath. Resetting your hands under your shoulders, pushing equally through every single finger, and we're popping up to the toes. Find that softness in the elbows, and when you're ready, we are alternating knee drives into your chest. We're going to be doing 10 reps, so on your mark, get set, and here we go. One, two, three, make sure those shoulders are over your elbows, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Breathing. 
Coming onto your lower back, head is gonna be on the floor. This is where that pillow comes into play. So if you have a pillow and you need it, the reason you would need it is if you are someone that feels your hip flexors or your lower back, when you raise your legs up in the air. So I'll invite you to pop a pillow under your lower back, take a deep breath, bring your legs up to this position, and then we are going to be lifting our hips off of the pillow. I like to hold my core just on the side so I can feel that core engage. Okay, so ready, legs up. We're doing 20 reps. Here we go, one, two, three. Try to keep my pace, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, taking a deep breath. Coming into that plank position, we are going into our second set. So take note, if that felt a little easy to have the pillow under your hips, let's just do it without the pillow the next time, okay? So we're coming down into that plank. We're gonna start with that knees or toes, whatever feels comfortable for you. But everybody this round is adding in a reach. So whether you're on your knees or your toes, we're reaching forward. Okay, so ready, we're gonna do 10 on arm. Okay, so ready, set, and here we go. One, keep those hips relatively neutral, not too much wiggling. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, perfect. Taking a deep breath, letting it go. Congratulate yourself on that. And then we're coming into our pike to plank. So again, if you were comfortable on your knees, we're gonna hold it for that second set. Otherwise, we are coming up onto the toes and we're doing 10 pike to plank, lifting those hips up and back to neutral. Okay, so ready? Take a deep breath, lift up onto your toes and here we go, one. Two, three, try to keep my pace, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Taking a little breather. Oh, let it go. Everything's starting to get a little bit tired and we're coming into that last exercise. If you needed that pillow underneath your back, this is our last thing of the day. So legs are going up, find those core muscles, push that lower back into the floor and we're raising those hips up. Okay, so ready? 20 reps, one last time. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and that's enough for that. That's the first YouTube video I've ever filmed, so thank you for joining me. I will be sending, I will be filming one next week that you can add on to this workout, so if you found that this left you wanting more, Stay tuned for next week. All right, have a good day, guys. Take care.